Hello, my YouTube family. I'm so glad that today is Friday. You have no idea how glad I am that today is Friday. People, I should not be home right now. I still have things to do, uh, but I was so damn tired that the only thing that I could actually do is go to the bank. I had to actually go to the bank, get gas, go to Dwayne Reed to get my blood pressure pills because I took my last one yesterday and now I don't have any but it's okay I will go tomorrow morning first thing to get the gas to go to the Dwayne Reed to pick up my to pick up my pills and then I have to go to the post office because I ran out of checks I was doing my budget at work came to work there he is. Came to work earlier than normal to have some quiet time to do my budget. I got paid today. Boom, boom, boom. And then I'm writing out the checks. And I ran out. I needed two more and I ran out. So I mailed the ones that, because I'm old school people. I know everybody does things online and blah, blah, blah. And you don't have to go to bed. No, no, no. I'm old school. I do everything still the old fashioned way checkbook yeah because you know suppose the computers run down or whatever and I need to look up my paperwork I've got a paper trail so mm -hmm. there are certain things I definitely do online but paying my bills I still do it the old-fashioned way what are you doing oh my goodness look and what is this on my forehead just kneading away at my really mm -hmm. like he's complaining like he can't find a comfortable spot excuse you mm -hmm. we're looking at you okay and he got off rather lucky because uh, this Sunday was supposed to be his VET visit, but I transferred, I, I, I postponed it for a later date, February 17th, where I don't have to worry because it's a Monday, it's a day off from work, so instead of rush, 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 plus I'm just, thankfully he's, you know, he is healthy as far as I know. He would have let me know otherwise, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you would have. So, you know, cats have a way. It's just all over the place. I think he's happy that I'm home. So, yeah, people. So tomorrow morning, I'll get an early start, and I'll go get gas, and I'll go pay my bills at the post office. Then I'll go to Dwayne Reed to pick up my blood pressure pills, and then I can just come back home again, okay? Because... Okay, let's get started. Three minutes in, and I'm just bitching and moaning. Okay, here we go. This was the other Black Radiance. Matched mine. This is not a red. This is a raspberry red. And um, it's not a full-blown red. Like, my robe over here is full-blown red. And this is a raspberry red. So you can sort of tell the difference. And I got major compliments with this sweater today. What? Thank you very much. It is in the red family. So red is my color. So here it is, people. Here is... Because, you know, living my best life. You know I told you I was going to... Hello. Yeah. I told you. I was going to... Yes. Yes, yes. This is the Black Radiance... Perfect Tone Lip Definer, and this one is in vermilion. Now, of course, once I, I toss the packaging, I'm not going to know what color this is because it doesn't have it on the package itself. Vermilion. Remember it for me, people, okay? And, you know, this is the, this is the liner, this is the liner section on one end. 
and this is the lip color on the other end and this is vermilion it is a blue based hmm I can't say it's a fuchsia it's not a fuchsia it's a blue based red but it's it's like my raspberry red it's almost like a fuchsia but it's it's a it's more redder than a fuchsia can you hear him? He's in the living room bitching and moaning now. I don't, you know, this cat has got it good in life and um, spoiled rotten. Spoiled rotten. So, yeah, he got away. He got away with another weekend of me not scruffing him and tossing him into the. You know, I don't toss him in. It's, if I was tossing him in, I'd be doing it like that. But. You know, I got cars honking outside. People, it's been a Friday. For real. It's It's been a day. And I'm just thrilled, beyond thrilled, that it's over. It's over. Okay, so that is that was lips of the day. And, oh, I do have to show you what blush I'm wearing. It's not a face of the day because it's not a whole new thing. It's just a new blush that I'm going to show you and the, the new lip color that I just showed you. So here we go. Ugh. Here we go. This is one of my Coastal Scents Forever Blushes. And this one is in the color Lovely. And it looks just like the sweater, which is, of course, why I chose it. So here it is. That's really the color of it. That's it. And it's lovely indeed. It may be a shade darker because I know this webcam likes to change colors depending on how the light hits it. I think that's the actual color. It's a little more carnation pinky. But there it is on my cheeks. Light hand people, no matter how light, it still looks like a clown on my face, but well, you know, this is this is how I went to work, so oh well. So that is the Forever Blush from Coastal Scents in Lovely. I'm so thrilled. This did I did I mention that? I wanted to shout out um Angela because Angela done sent me something. Now people, you know, especially Eileen, I know you know. I don't need any more stuff. I really but thank you for constantly sending me stuff. But I really d I don't need any more. If I'm not buying any more, that means I don't need any more, right? Y'all know. I don't need another lip gloss. I may want another lip gloss. I don't need another lip gloss. However, Angela sent me, because I saw a picture of hers, and I said, I need to know what's on your lips, girl. And she told me what it was. And not only did she tell me what it was, but she... She sent it to me. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Gloss. And this is in the color, um, I wrote it down, Raspberry Ablaze. Look at this. It's in the purple family, people. So I just wiped my hands, but, you know, I'm just going to. Oh, heavenly Jesus, this is raspberry ablaze. I know the, the lipstick stained my hand, but this is raspberry ablaze, people. So, Maybelline, color sensational lip gloss. Now, Angela, was this a limited edition? I have a feeling this was a limited edition. It doesn't say it, though. Hold on. Yes, it does. Hello. Limited edition. Yes, it does. Maybelline limited edition color sensational. It says it right there. Y'all ain't going to see. But it says it right there. Limited edition. This was a limited edition shade, people. Raspberry Ablaze. 
Thank you, Angela. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, living my best life for what I'm wearing now. Thank you, Angela, for what I'm going to be wearing next week. And, um, yeah. Oh, and living my best life. I still have other things from the package that you sent to me. I still have two lipsticks. So I'll be wearing those next week, too. Okay, so that's it, people. Thank you. It's Friday. Thank you, Jesus. It is Friday. Um, I, I really, I'm, I'm so out of it. I really am out of it. Um, as for my MRI, I have to go to work on Monday late so I can go to the doctor because this doctor's hours, now my hours are 9 to 5.30. My doctor's hours are 9 to 5.30. Are they open on the weekends? No. Monday through Friday, 9 to 5.30. How are you going to make the hours the same hours as people who work? So I have to go into work late because, of course, you know, they can't give you the results over the phone. They need to collect your copay, okay, for just telling you the results. They can tell you the results over the phone, but how, how, how are they going to make money that way? No, no, no. We want to have your ass in the office so your wallet can be opened so you can hand over the copay. So on Monday, I am going to be going to the office late hopefully not too late, and uh, I will get my results then. In the meantime, you know, it's, 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 it's still as is. My leg is, is getting better, but it's, of course, my back. So we shall see what the problem is with my back on Monday at 9, 30. No, 9, 9. So I'll be walking into office at 9. And they better be quick. Just tell me what it is, what can be done about it, and I got to get to work. So, and the thing is, where this doctor's office is located, first of all, you're a neurologist, right? Why do you have a building on a hill with stairs when you know damn well people with canes and such have to get up there. Sometimes people just don't think. They just don't think. Parking is a disaster. So I'll be going around and around and around and around until I find a parking spot, which is probably going to be forever away from the building. So then I'm going to have to walk a year and a day to the building, then climb up the stairs with my cane to finally get to the building so they can collect my copay, only to tell me, what you could have just told me over the phone. And here's the thing. I had to call them and ask them, have my results for the MRI come in yet? Because I took the MRI on last Saturday. No, it hasn't come in yet. And she must have realized what she said. And she, she said, oh, I, I, I'll, I'll call them right away and have them fax the results over. Damn Skippy. Because if you want things done properly, you're going to have to do it yourself, people. Things are not the way they used to be. Doctor's visits are not what they used to be. Before, you would get a test done. The doctor would get the results. He would call you, tell you over the phone or what have you. And then either it's very important that you come in the office right away or you know, I'm just looking over your records and everything seems to be fine and we can discuss what needs to be done. That's a long time ago, people. Long time ago. Things have changed considerably. So they'll get my money on Monday only to have me sit in the office for, what, five minutes? Maybe he'll show me what the MRI, sh you know, what he sees and what needs to be done and, and what can be done to relieve this annoyance because I've been having it since November now. Well, November started the whole leg theory and then it eventually trans transferred over to my back. So we shall see what's going on. In the meantime, people, um, that's it. That's lips of the day. I know I look a hot mess. I looked a lot better this morning. Trust me. Trust me when I say that. But, you know, 
I had to run out of the office, run to the bank, because the bank that I used to go to after work, because I can't go during lunch anymore, um, the bank that I used to go to after work, they decided, oh, you know what? We're going to have some new hours. We're going to close at 5. Thankfully, not all of the branches adhere to that stupidity. So now I have to travel a little further, which means I have to push it, push it because they close at 6. I get out at 5.30. Thankfully, the drive is not that long. It's about, you know, 7 to 10 minutes. So I got to that bank. I had to do what I had to do and then come home. Now, from the bank, I was supposed to go to Dwayne Reed to pick up. But then I was looking at my gas and I'm like, I need to get gas and this, this and that. No, I'm too tired. So tomorrow morning, you know, I'm not going to rush, rush, but I'm going to take my time. I'm going to wake up. I'm going to go get gas. I'm going to go to the post office and then go to Dwayne Reed and pick up my. Now, you, he you heard me say Dwayne Reed, right? I'm going to the Dwayne Reed specifically to pick up my prescription. I'm going to bypass the cosmetic section because you have to pass the cosmetic section to get to the back where the pharmacy is. Going to bypass the cosmetic section. I'm just going to tunnel vision it, people. I'm not going to look to the left. I'm not going to look to the right. Tunnel vision it. Get my prescription and come back home. I am not feeling anything right now. I have looked at uh, Crystalis 007's um, video. There's some new, what, Wet n Wild stuff. There's some new NYX stuff. I'm just, I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling a thing, which is good because that means I have completed this entire month, the very first month. I have completed without buying anything new cosmetics wise. Am I proud? Pat myself on the back on that one. Good job. Good job. So that's one month down, six more to go. And I think I can do it, people. I really do think I can do it. Because one, the second I start thinking of, ooh, I really want that, and ooh, I really want... The, the angel, the angel starts talking to me loudly, saying, no, you really don't, you really don't need that. Because you probably have a color just like that in your stash. So I'm shopping my stash, people. That's all there is to it. Now... That's it. I've rambled on far too long. I am going now. I want to max and relax. Okay. I just want to just. And this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday. And you know, I don't give a rat's ass. So I'm just going to watch the commercials now. By the way, did you see? Because it's already online. Did you see the Budweiser commercial? I shed a tear. This morning I watched it and I was like, oh. It's the little golden retriever puppy and the horse. It's just so adorable. You, the Budweiser commercials, they have it down pat to, to where they know how to pull your, your heartstrings. Now, I don't know what one has to do with the other as far as beer is concerned. because, But it's just the sentiment. <sighs> Actually, whoever makes the commercials for Budweiser, they really need to work for Hallmark. Because that is where the talent is at. Just look for the, the Budweiser commercial with the golden retriever and the horse. And of course the horse is a Clydesdale horse, which is the you know the 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 brand the, the brand of horse, if I could say that, the brand, the type of horse that represents Budweiser. So it's just, it's just so it's just so cute. It is just so adorably cute. So that's it, people. That is all I have to say. I hope everybody has a good weekend. Uh, I'm not for any team, Broncos, Seahawks, whatever. I don't know who's playing against whom. I know one Manning brother is on one team, and I really don't care. Um, that's all I can say. I probably will be falling asleep 
during the Super Bowl, which does tend to happen. Hopefully, I'll wake up in time for the halftime show, and I'm not even, I don't even know. Who, who's who's doing the halftime show? I don't have a clue. I know Beyonce was last year. Who Who's this year? I don't know. Somebody talk to me about who who's, I have no idea. So I will, you know, I'll be surprised because I don't know. I don't know. As you can tell, I really am not going to shed any lack of sleep on this because I really don't care. And on that note, I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know. And I will talk to you on Monday to let you know everything, what time I came in and all of this. I love you. Bye now.